Oh, hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. All right, guys, so today is Saturday, so you know what that means. We back. Yep, we back again for another weekly fragrance rotation, and let me tell you, this week's been good to me, man. Oh, yeah. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, so I started my week off with Molecule 01. On Sunday, I rocked this bad boy, and... Um, actually, I just released a video on this one as well. So I did 10 sprays. Yes, sir. I did 10. We had, we talked about this in the video. You know, many people out there say you can go 50. Do what you want to do, man. Don't allow me to sway you. I did 10 sprays on this one on Sunday. And to me, um, I actually think this one is a confusing scent. At least my thoughts on it have been confusing. If you care to know what they are, I'll link the video below so you can check it out. On Sunday, we had Molecule 01. On Monday, I went out and I reached for Y by YSL, man. I'm not sure why this one gets so much hate in the community, but I really like this one. I mean, I tend to reach for this one a lot. My oldest son reaches for this one when he goes to school. He has kind of free reign to most of my stuff. He comes in here and picks out what he wants to wear in the morning, and he reaches for this one a lot, man. Um, I have a few people work for me who own this one and uh, wear it. I think it's a dope fragrance. Now, one thing you have to understand is that this one is made for millennials, so it's not for everybody. You know, not everyone's going to like it. It does have a younger vibe to it, but I do like it. It is synthetic, um, but, you know, what's to be expected from a low-end? I mean, I won't call it a low-end, but it's not expensive. It's very, you know, entry-level from a price perspective, at least for the designers. It's not bad, man. I like it. Um, they made it for the younger crowd, for the bad guy. You know, who wears that white shirt and leather jacket, but I wear a black shirt and black hats. I don't know. Works for me. You guys leave your comments and let me know what you think about that one. On Tuesday, I hit the bookstore, man. I hit the bookstore. I hit Barnes and Nobles with the family. We went out, we bought a few books. Uh, my wife, I don't know what she bought. I don't know what my son's bought. My, actually, my youngest son, he bought like a book about space. He wanted to know about the stars and the galaxy and the planets. So he got that. Um, I got one on, you know, finance because I kind of forgot what to do with all this money. <laughs> we just don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I just like to read, man. Reading is fundamental. The more knowledge I can put in here, you know, the more knowledge I can give to you. So you don't have to read. Let me read for you. You just come back and say, Big Baby, what? How do I do this? And I'll try to answer for you. <laughs> but on Tuesday, I did wear um, from the house of Parfum du Mali. This one is Pegasus. Shout out to my people over at Luxury Scent Box. This is not a sponsored video, but shout out to them anyway. Um, you guys know, man, they've been rocking with me for a while. So I do enjoy this fragrance. It was a uh, kind of a cool day. It wasn't like hot. It wasn't cold. I wore five sprays of this one, and it worked. Um, I had a fun day on, on uh, Tuesday too, man. So I hit the bookstore. You know, um, I did. I had a conversation with my guy James over at Beard Money. Um, Beardmoney.com. If you haven't checked them out, those are the guys who did the uh, the fuck shaving shirt. We put the final touches on the um, Big Beard merch, man. Kind of gave me a few of the keys. Feel the keys to success. You know, we had a conversation. And the Big Beard merch is, is about done, man. So, you know, if you want to pre-order, just hit me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be dope. You guys have been asking for those shirts for a very long time. So we have, um, I'm not going to tell you all of the shirts we have. But we have six designs to start, and they are nice. So if you want one, I'll let your boy get your pre-orders in. On Wednesday, man, I pulled out Ed Hardy's Love and Love. Wednesday was a light day, man. I didn't do much. Honestly, outside of, you know, hollering at um, Dynamic, a.k.a. hooking a verse, man. If you guys haven't heard that bar number 9com song, I'm going to link it down below. That was the song that was in the first sex vlog. I saw someone yesterday say, man, I was waiting for the song about Cologne. It wasn't in that video because of a sponsor video, so we had to limit the cursing. <laughs> but I'll link that song down below in case you care to hear about it. This one, man. You no, know, this is my father-in-law's, uh, was, was his go-to juice. Now he's a Black Phantom fan. He likes Black Phantom a lot. Um, so now he, he doesn't wear this one as much, even though he has like a, a mega bottle. What do you got, like a 200 ml bottle? He got, he got a big bottle. And um, I just I didn't do much, man. I stayed around the house, you know, I did some working out, you know. I was lazy, sprayed this on, it was dope. As you guys know, I like to say dope. Now Thursday was very eventful. Thursday we filmed and uploaded the uh, sex vlog. That was the pickup vlog at, over at the UTC mall. I think you guys enjoyed it, hopefully you did. If you haven't had a chance to look at it, 
you know, go back and check it out. But Thursday, I wore Dubai Gold. And look, I'm about to show y'all something now, but don't laugh at me, all right? So um, I had a little sample DK of Dubai Gold, and this is kind of what I had here, man. So I wore this. I did four sprays of Dubai Gold because it was a cooler day, but I wasn't sure how I was going to perform, and I didn't want to wear it too much, but I knew I couldn't go too light. So I did four sprays on it. You know what? No one in the sacks even mentioned this one on me. Maybe they couldn't sport. Maybe they couldn't smell it. I don't know if I, I had it on enough. Um, but I did smell it on my shirt the next morning when I was putting all my stuff in the, in the dirty clothes. I was able to smell that. So maybe they did smell it, you know? But this one was dope. As you guys know that this is one of the ones that I've been trying to get. I do not have a full bottle of it. And I'm almost out of this little sample slash decant that they made me. So I might need to buy a bottle. Should I buy a bottle of Dubai Gold? or Clive Christian Rock Rose? Or do you guys have something else in mind? I don't know, maybe I'll buy something you guys wanna see, but for me, those are fragrances that I want, but I'm here for you guys, so tell me what you guys want me to have, and then I'll, I'll buy that. And for those of you guys out there who were wondering, well, how much did you spend? Because at the top of the video, you said, how much money can we spend today? Um, all actual, all things with City Man, we actually got off pretty easy. So I think between my stuff, well, my bottle of cologne and my wife's makeup, we spent 500 bucks that day. So, Saks, again, they sponsored the video and they gave the bottle of Aventus for the winner of the 20K video. So, I did not have to come out of pocket for that. So, you know, we ended up saving. You know, a penny saved is a penny earned. So, that day was only 500 bucks that we spent. A lot better than we thought we were going to do. And, um, who knows? It is the weekend, so we might fuck up some comments. So yesterday was Friday, and I hit him off with Dior Own Sport. This is the 2017 edition. This one came out last year, and by the way, I have a review on almost all of these fragrances that I mentioned today, which is why I'm not going into depth and detail about them. I'll link them below, or you can do Big Bid Business Blank, and it'll pop up the fragrance and the actual video. I'm getting bad, man. I have no clue what I, <laughs> I have no clue what I did yesterday. Um, all I know I did was I did do a early release for the Beat Gang Patreon members. I did your first early release of the video, so you guys got that video um, early. So thank you, you know, for the guys who participate in the Beat Gang. Why haven't you joined the Beat Gang yet? You know, links below, just in case you're wondering. Um, so I did that one. I sat down, man. I responded to a few messages. I created some video content. I got a few good ideas that I think videos that you guys are going to like. I think you guys are going to appreciate these videos. Most of this comes back from questions that you guys have been asking me. So, you know, when I had to think about how we can change things, how we can take it to the next level, I just look at my comments, man. I look at my comments and like, you know, if I put my brain to it and work this out, then we can have some dope content. Yes. And we will. It's coming. Sooner than soon. Oh, I also ordered uh, five five fragrances online yesterday. I won't tell you what they are because then you won't come back for the unboxing. Duh. Um, but I did order five fragrances online. Um, they will be on its way, and then we'll do unboxings when they come. I did six sprays of this. Yeah, six? I don't know. Five or six. Can't quite recall. I believe it was six, though, from what I wrote down. But for some reason, I think I did five. I should have wrote down what I did because outside of those things, I have no it was like a blur. Oh, I had a headache all day. So did my wife. So I sat down, answered your comments, you know, went through, did what I did. Salute. And today, today I will have on Nautic Life. And why I say I will have it on because I'm going to wear it shortly. So today, um, my sister in law and my brother in law that came over to the crib, grabbed some stuff out of my garage that's been sitting there for a very long time since October. You know, y'all live eight miles away. Sitting in the garage since October. So um, that's all done now. So that's done. They had the garage back, and that it wasn't like all for them. So that's that's cool. So that's done. And now, after this video, we have to edit the video. You know, we have to get some food in our bellies. You know, I'm gonna spray this on, hop in the bed, and watch a movie. And the movie, man, I can't remember what it's called, but. It's a movie about sleep paralysis. It's not that documentary that's on Netflix that was out there a while ago, because that one was trash. This one's like a movie, like a scary movie about sleep paralysis, man. You know, they call it the witch riding your back, you know, when you're laying there. It happened to me before. I was up, but I couldn't move. I'm like, oh my God. And I just seen this thing coming in. I'm like, oh, I don't want to steal all your cologne. I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It went away. But 
I mean, I think it went away. I, don't, I can't really call it. It was, it was, it was crazy though. Comment below and let me know if you ever, 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 ever had the sleep paralysis, man. I can't be the only one out there. I, I really feel like it was haunted, and they just telling us the sleep paralysis to make us feel better about it. Comment below and let me know. Any doctors out there? You know, any? Do you study sleep? You know, you might need to come. In. I might need a study case, man. Let me know. It hasn't happened in quite some time, but that was that was strange. I had never heard about it until it really happened to me. And I was like, hmm, should I tell my wife what happened? It's like she wasn't my wife yet, she's my fiance. Maybe you were, who knows, I don't know. I stole her back in high school. She's my wife before she knew she's my wife. Actually, interesting story here. So, in school, we had this opportunity to get married, right? So do you- Don't! <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that's what I wore this week. Um, this one here, if you guys haven't seen it, again, it is, I have a video about it, man. So, pretty interesting. Interesting. This is a very simple note breakdown. You have like woody accord, you got a spicy accord, and aquatics. All of these fragrances have been talked about at some point. I'll try to link them below so you guys can check them out if you care to see them. I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also tell me what you wore this week and why you at it. Hit the goddamn bell and then head over and join the B gang. Bye.